And foul, though it had the home run distance. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. No wasting any time here in the first. That's a good swing there, and it allows them to drive one for two bases. Now maybe they're one more hit away from jumping out to a quick 2-0 lead. Matt Holliday will dig in with a couple of guys in scoring position and a chance to take the lead here in the early going. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. Got to at least be thinking sack fly here if you're at the plate. And that's inside and a bit low anyways. It's 2-0. And if you're looking for a pitch up to hit a fly ball here, I don't think you're going to get one. And you're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place here. If you go ahead and walk him, you're loading the bases for your cleanup hitter. And you don't want to tempt fate early in the ball game by leaving a fastball up like that. Swung on and missed three and two. And it looks like he's going to let his fastball be the one that gets him out of this jam. Cameron is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. And they'll take the lead here as he does the job with the sack fly, and they move out in front. Just needed to get this thing airborne to get that first run of the game home, and he does his job with a sack fly. So a runner at third here with one gone, and here comes Giambi. First pitch coming. And now a sharply hit ball toward the right side as this gets foul past the coaching box. One and one. And that's exactly where you need to keep the ball against Giambi. He'll kill that pitch when it's middle in. Hit hard, but foul. One out and a runner on third. Now Giambi swings and misses here as he couldn't time that one, and there's your second out. And this is normally a slam dunk ribby when you've got a big time run producer like this at the plate. Not this time, though. Jack Cust is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. And now you've got to make sure you can strand that runner at third base. And it's a foul ball. And he reaches for one but can't find it as he's down on strikes for the final out. So one run, one hit, one error, and one man left on base. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. The A's lead it one to nothing. Starting lineup for the Brewers looks like this. And Corey Hart made the jump from average Joe to all-star in 2008. He could be in line for better things this time around. So we're set to go for the home half of inning number one. Oh, and he just blows the fastball by him for strike one. Good setup there on the inside part of the plate. If they're smart, they'll keep trying to lock him up in there. Oh, and he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. Ah, uh, just too over-aggressive right now. And now a pitch on the way. Can't get him to chase. It's 1-2. Big hack that time by Cameron, but he swings through it, and that's the first out of the inning. So one away now for J.J. Hardy. Way late on the fastball for strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit sharply but foul past the first baseman, Giambi. And he'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Mm, high heat. Not even sure that's in the zone, but he couldn't catch up to it. Ryan Braun steps in now. Ryan. 
swinging here is Braun, and he sends this one on the ground to short. Throw to Giambi will be in time, and with that, the inning will come to an end. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. On now to the top half of inning number two. Oakland is on top in this one, one to nothing. First pitch to him. And he'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. A bare hand by Hall. Throw in the dirt, but a good job of staying with it that time as he's retired. And how big a play is that to keep the leadoff man off the bases? Just fielding the ball with the bare hand is tough enough, but then he gets enough on the throw to get his man. Great play. Nice skills. Eric Chavez stands in as he can't connect here. 0-1. Boy, that sucker's moving right there. Ball one. Now a swing and a ball grounded foul off to the right side. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Yeah, and Xavi just misses this thing. Check it out. He's looking to pull the ball, but he can't quite get his bat on it. So the first two are set down in the inning, and that'll bring up Bobby Crosby. And he gets ahead 0-1. And, and with the pitcher on deck, you'd love to get this guy here and make the pitcher lead off the third. Fouled back. And a curveball swung on and missed. And a great call there as the inning is over. So a great half inning of work by Giovanni Gallardo. And his club's keeping it close. It's 1-0. Prince Fielder will start things off in the bottom of the second. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Swing at a high pop-up back behind the mound. Crosby waits on it. And he puts it away for the first down. Needed just nine pitches to get through the first inning, and he's off to another fast start here in the second. Corey Hart is the batter now as he looks at a bowl of 1-0. And, oh. and this thing starts out a strike. That's a tough pitch to lay off. 1-0 oh on the way. Now a swing and an easy ground ball to first. And Giambi lumbers over and takes it himself for the out. So now two are gone for Bill Hall. Here's the first offering. I had him lunging at that one out of the zone, and that's strike one. Boy, and he has been razor sharp these first two innings. And here's the ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. And a swing and a miss is all he could do was reach out in vain for that one, and the side is retired. Justin Dukesher is ready to go here as we begin the third. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. And these AL pitchers certainly don't get that much time in the batting cage. Here's one hit towards the hole. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So the leadoff man set down now for Ryan Sweeney. First pitch fastball runs a bit too high. It's ball one. And that's what that four-seamer will do. It has a tendency to really rise at the end. Ball hit pretty well out toward left center. And that ball's going to land between them. And Braun will need to play this off the wall. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Boy, this is just a good job of going down and getting this thing. 
This pitch is down in the zone, and he's able to ride it the other way into left center for two bases. And now here's a ball grounded foul over toward third. And this is swung on and missed there by Suzuki, and he's in trouble now, down 0-2. And, and you can see he's trying to pull everything. You need an opposite field approach here. Cameron is there, two gone. Matt Holliday will dig in. He drove in a run with the sacrifice fly his first time. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Two out here and a runner at second. And Holliday will not offer at that one. It's a ball and a strike. And he drove in a run his first time through. He could possibly do it again right here. Called strike and he's behind one and two. And after challenging him up with the last fastball, that's a perfect spot for the follow-up, right at the knees. Now a ball lined hard toward right center. And that's going to find a crease for extra bases, and it ought to open up this lead to two. But he'll get in there with an RBI double. Boy, that was a good stroke there with two strikes. He just went with the ball nicely and rode it the other way and winds up with a run-scoring double. Jason Giambi is at the plate as he looks at ball one. And this is a guy you'd probably rather pitch to the corners instead of up. And a good eye there by Giambi. It's 2-0. and oh. And with two outs and a base open, they may just be working around him here. Take sign must have been on there because that's right down the middle. Strike one. Hit hard to the left side. That's in there. Base hit. Oh, and the throw sails. It's over his head. And the run will score from second here as this is now a 3-0 game. Jack Cust will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. On Gallardo with the good live fastball that's 0-1. Still another important run out there at second. You'd love to make this a four-run game with a base hit. On to first, and that'll go, says Doc Bryant. At first, it's strike one. On, he takes something off there and had him way out in front for strike two. Boy, it's pretty surprising to see him hit here since he's already given up six runs. And, oh my goodness, that was strike three right there. Man, one and two. Not too long ago, this outcome looked like a foregone conclusion, but not anymore. Now a ball hit back up the middle. To his left is Crosby. Tough throw to first. And look at Giambi fish that one out of the dirt. A nice play. The big fella ends the inning. So they pick up three runs on four base hits. No errors. And no one left on base. Five innings complete. The A's lead this one 6-3. to three. Eric Chavez will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two-run home run that was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. And he takes ball one. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. And there's ball two now. And right now at the plate, I think you sit on fastball and react to the breaking ball. Late decision to offer at the changeup as this is bounced to third. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. So one gone for the A's in their half of the sixth. And former Rookie of the Year Bobby Crosby will be the hitter. In there, and it's 0-1. Fouled straight back. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. One out, nobody on. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. And he just did hold up in time there. He may very well see that pitch again. And Crosby able to lay off there. The count goes to two and two now. The 2-2 two -two coming. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Number 61 will get his first cuts here. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. Oh. 
ball two. And let's see if he makes him throw a strike here. And here's a fastball for a strike, two and one now. That's a little more like it. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. And you got a pitcher up there that's barely hitting his waist size. Throw him a strike. And quick wrists here as this is yanked down the third baseline. Throw to fielder at first will take care of him, and that'll be that. A's are gone in order as they're unable to add to their six to three lead. Chris Schroeder will be the new pitcher. Mike Cameron will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. Number 45, Chris. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. Well, this will be foul off to the right out of play. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. There's a good sign there. He already struck out twice in the ball game, but he looked much better there as he drives this one for an off. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And in steps the shortstop, J.J. Hardy. And that's cut on and missed 0-1. Just rearing back and throwing the heater by him right there. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. And this could be a tough play back behind the mound. Throw by Ellis, and there's one gone. Yeah, high chop on that time. And it kind of eliminates getting anything but the out at first. That's a smart play there to get the sure out. Ryan Braun is next, Dave, as he swings and misses for strike one. Oh, and that looked like the emergency hack there. In the dirt here, but Suzuki's able to keep it in front of him. But fortunately, no advance. Swing and a line drive to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Suzuki makes the tag. He's out at the play. Well, the gamble here doesn't pay off as they tag the man out at home plate, although the batter was able to get into scoring position at second. Prince Fielder will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. And he gets under this one and, in fact, breaks his bat as this one's popped up. And that's going to land foul. Slice down the left side, but foul. And a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two-strike pitch and chops it foul. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. Ready with another 0-2. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Chris DiNorfio is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. Your attention, please. Line softly to the right side, but foul. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two. Yeah, you're always looking to keep guys honest with fastballs on the inside part of the plate. Inside for a ball, so he misses with two straight here, and it's back to two and two. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. From 0 oh and two to three and two, he is really making him work out there. Rolled softly down the line, and that is a foul ball. And he lays off, ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. 
Matt Merton will come on as a pinch hitter. Late on the fastball there as this one skied out towards straightaway right. There to handle it is Hart, and there's your first down. Travis Buck will get a shot here as a pinch hitter. And that misses ball one. Now, how do you get outs when you're out of gas? And a good swing there as this is deep down the line and right, but this is going to wind up out of play. He's ready now, the pitch. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. And when you don't have a blow it by your fastball, that's a pitch you have to lean on. But this will be a foul ball. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Yeah, almost strike three, but I don't think he broke the wrist, so that's a good call. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. Rajay Davis will come on now as the pinch hitter. Here's the first pitch to him. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. And he can't come up with it. Well, coming off the bench, you got to be ready to hit the first good one you see. This pitch is right out over the plate, and he delivers. will come on as a pinch hitter. Your attention, please. A defensive change for the Athletics. Now playing left field.
He's going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. And he goes the other way with the fastball as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. And Hart will make the play, and the inning is over. So one run here on one base hit, the home run, no errors, and no one left. So we'll have a new pitcher here as the youngster Joey Devine is set to take over. And a good first pitch as he gets him to bounce one on the ground out towards second. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. And dude, when it's late in the game and you're losing, why are you swing at the first pitch and helping the guy out? Come on now. Giovanni Gallardo swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. What does it take to get a pinch hitter in there? This guy's given up seven runs on the mound. Well, I had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0-2. Running out of outs here. They need to get something started in a hurry. And a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time, and there are two away. And this is the kind of power pitcher where when he gets to 0-2, you know he's thinking about the number one. Just blew him away there. And he squares with two outs and gets it down. Throw to first in time, and you got to question that decision as this side is retired. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Dave Herman will try to get his club a little ninth inning insurance as he'll grab a bat to pinch hit, leading things off here. Jeff Ullman is on, and he'll take over on the mound. Now pitching for the Brewers, number 16. And this is hit sharply on the ground toward the hole. And that is into left field, so the leadoff man's aboard to kick off the ninth. Well, you can't fault the pitch location here. Have a look. They know he has trouble with the ball down, but he beats them at their own game. That's just good hitting. Rob Bowen is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. Fastball in there for a strike. 92 on the radar gun that time. Kendall with the sign. Now the 1-1. One, one. Well, this is speared by the first baseman. Well, they've already got one out of the play, and now this guy just doesn't know what to do as they tag him out to complete the double play. Jeff McArthur will get a shot here as a pinch hitter. Here's a swing and a ball hit into the air to left center and shallow. Braun is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Dave Herman will stay in the ballgame as he takes over in center. Eric Patterson will come into the ballgame as a defensive upgrade. J.J. Hardy will step in, a ground-out victim as last time. Here's the ball hit high in the air and fairly deep toward the right field corner. is there to make the catch and it's a dreadful start to the bottom of the ninth one pitch one out Ryan Braun will get another crack one for three thus far in the air now to straight away right field Cunningham is there now to make the play on Braun and the sluggards retired on just one pitch Prince Fielder will stand in as their last chance now And a way off balance hack that time. Good for the first strike. And he's had trouble getting extended all afternoon. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. And that's going to fall for a base hit. Corey Hart will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. Swinging a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. And sometimes as a pitcher, you get so focused on just starting the at-bat with a strike that you forget about the guy with a stick. And he just rifles this right back up the middle for a knock.
is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond the call of duty here in this one. He's our upper deck player of the game. Yeah, I thought he really mixed his speed. Derek Jeter's next base hit.